Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, August the 31st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are basically at the all-time highs now, 4,531. We're getting fairly overstretched, uh, not, probably not in the S&P 500, but but in Nasdaq, definitely we are getting very overstretched. And kind of at this point, uh, starting uh, sep uh, September, this usually tends to pull back. Uh, so last year, we pulled back roughly 12% in the, in September. We have it back here. You can see there, the 10, 12% uh, pullback was what we experienced last September. So uh, MACD is bullish at this point, our stochastic is flat, the CCI is bullish, we are still room to the upside before this becomes uh, over, overbought, but we are outside of the bullish band. So of course this could stay here for like three more days before pulling back, but usually when you get this overstretched it tends to basically snap towards the bottom. 50 moving average is um, the bottom at this current stage, if that gives away then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average roughly at 4053. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is not as bullish as, uh, for example, the Dow NASDAQ and the uh, S&P 500. It is struggling. Uh, we are trading at the 35,417 at this point. 20 exponential is holding, 50 moving average is holding, break below here. Then the Fed, we can drop all the way down to 30. 34,000 and then all the way now to the very bottom, uh, which is at this current stage 32,883. MACD is a flat that uh, is bearish at this point. Stochastic is flat and the RSI is flat as well. To the upside, top of the bullish band, that should basically be the, uh, the very top here 35,700, give or take. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So Nasdaq is getting very overstretched. We are significantly outside of the bullish band. We are significantly overbought and um, other indicators are very bullish. They're basically all bullish at this current stage. So usually when this happens, it tends to go sideways, pulls back a little bit, or it basically breaks towards the middle of the bullish band, which is 15,162 at this current stage or at the very bottom of the 50 moving average down here at 14,919. Break below here, then 14,000 comes into play. If you look at what basically happened last year when we entered um, September, we had a massive rally to the upside and then just bank. Roughly 12% to the downside broke below the 50 moving average, recovered, and then yet again in October, this basically crashed. So we consolidated here, and then we had this massive move all the way to the end of, basically the beginning of March um, this year. So we had a uh, range roughly that was around, give or take, 2,000 points or 1,500 points. So we are seeing a very similar move here. We are getting very overstretched. Where we are overbought, if you look at the weekly chart for the NASDAQ, we can see that the weekly chart even is also at 75 at this point. We're not at the top of the, of the bullish band, but we're getting very close to that point. But we are significantly overbought in the RSI. So pullbacks at this point, 20 exponential uh, support, the same is for the, uh, the 50 moving average. But if that's break, then it could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average down here at 14,737. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is, uh, has rallied a little bit today. Uh, we still have quite a lot of room to the upside towards 16,000, trading at 15,285. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and the RSI is flat. Still a lot of room to the upside, but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Pulling back, 50 moving average has been massive support. Break below here, then the drop towards a 50, uh, 15, uh, 15,000, and then the 200 moving average that will most likely come into play. Otherwise, to the upside, 16K is basically what we need to break. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE has been trading sideways for the last few trading days. MACD is still bearish, the classic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. Uh, we need to break towards the bottom of the bullish band in order to get a, a good uh, buy-in 
or to the upside, it is technically 7,200. It has been in this, in this range for a very long time. We have okay, occasionally seen this break towards the downside to the 200 moving average, but it has been bought into very heavily when it has done that. So massive moves towards the 200 moving average. They have been buying opportunities, as you can see. So yes, at the moment, it's kind of just the weighted game, similar to the NASDAQ, where this will go, drop to the downside or to the upside, should be massive resistant up here at 7,200. So let's look at the China 50. So this is testing the very bottom yet again. If we break below this, then we could see this market tumble even further. But it kind of looks like we are trying to create a, a support level here. Very similar to what we saw here when we tried to make a support level. We did rally and then it just completely collapsed. So we may see something similar here that we go just sideways around uh, 14,700 and 15,000. Uh, and then this could turn around. But if um, if the constant bad news is coming out from China, then this will probably tumble even further as people will just start uh, shorting and, and um, getting rid of their Chinese stocks. So MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is, um, and RSI is bearish as well. So hope you find it helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.